Hi guys, so today's video is a how to enroll for homeschool online. Um, if this is the first time you're here on my videos, my name is Jessica. I am a homeschool mom. I have been homeschooling my six year old for a year now, and we are enrolled in K 12's um, Cava Fresno, that is California Virtual Academies of Fresno. And um, yeah, so we have basically finished our first year which was kinder um and now we are enrolled for next year so that is very exciting for us um i am very happy with k-12's program i have not had any issues and i do feel like they have been very helpful um throughout this process now before we do move on i kind of want to put out this big disclaimer because i feel like um, it just would make people a little bit more um, at ease watching this video. I am not sponsored by K-12. Um, all of the homeschool videos that you guys have been seeing are basically videos that I have shared to help out um, new homeschooling parents because when I first started this, believe me, um, I was very overwhelmed and it was a very new experience for me. I had no idea where to even begin. So. Um, once I kind of got a little bit more comfortable with it, I decided, you know what, I'm going to start filming this because I did already have my YouTube channel. So I figured, um, why not make some videos and kind of help out the new homeschooling parents on here. Um, so yes, this video is not sponsored. K-12 does not even know that I'm filming this video. So if that makes you feel any more comfortable, um, watching and just being part of my journey here, um, yeah, now you know. Um, the first thing you do have to do is create a parent portal. So I'm going to show you guys on here um, what that looks like. I basically just Googled how to enroll to K-12 and this is um, the main page. I'm going to show you guys on here. Okay, so this is the first page you're gonna see, and if you go to enroll now, um, it's gonna take you to your parent portal, which I, since I'm already enrolled, I already have, and it's letting me know here um, that I'm pretty much re-registered, and it's giving me some closing dates. But for the new parents, um, you would have to create a whole new profile, obviously. And it's all very basic information. Uh, they're gonna ask you for your legal name, your current address, your previous address. Um, you do need an additional guardian. Um, and then if you're returning, it does give you the option to kind of um, let them know if you're returning or not. And then just, you know, some basic in information to basically create your parent portal, which is the account you're gonna be using from now on to basically give them information back and forth. Um, you will be doing everything online, which I find is very, very convenient. You're gonna have to upload all the information, um, which is all the basic information they ask you when you're enrolling to a regular school, proof of age, physical form, immunization records, um, report cards, um, any test scores, proof of residence, and things like that. So, so after you enroll and submit all your documents, you wait for an email and they'll let you know when you're approved. So yeah, you guys, like I said, it's very simple um, and you can do everything from home. I did it all through my phone and um, if I did ever need anything, I had someone reaching out either by phone or through email. Um, the whole enrollment process, I want to say, took about two weeks. Um, and that was just going back and forth. I did need to do a few extra things because when I enrolled, we had moved twice in less than a year. So they did need some extra documents and things like that. Um, but it's all pretty simple steps. If you've already enrolled a kid in school, you kind of already know the process. Um, so like I said, you can find the link down below. Um, other than that, I would say just make sure you keep an eye on your email because they do email frequently. Um, I have emails coming in from either Lily's teacher or um, people in the administration. Um, so yeah, the whole process is pretty easy and they're very good about responding and things like that. So 
Um, one question that I find a lot of parents usually have is if you can enroll anytime throughout the year. Yes, you can enroll any time of the year. You don't have to wait for the school year to begin. You can enroll any time. Um, with K-12, you have a curriculum given to you and or set up for you and you basically have to hold yourself accountable to getting it done. Um, and I'm talking to the parents, obviously, as you now are going to basically be your child's teacher um, they call it a learning coach you now will be your students learning coach and so you basically just have to get um, all of the lessons done before the end of the school year um, so yeah you can enroll anytime and another question that I've had a few people ask is um, if it's a free program they do have a free program and then they do have a private program we are enrolled in their free program and I'm curious to know what the private the private program looks like because um, with our program we did get a loaner computer and all the books were sent over for free so I'm curious to see what the private program looks like um, I haven't gotten a chance to kind of look that up but I feel like we have everything we need so I I don't really know what the difference um, would be or what the lessons if the lessons would be any different I don't I don't see how or why they would be but um, yeah so it so yeah all the books and everything was provided for us um but yeah overall i really enjoy how organized they are and the structure um i personally like i said was very um like i said when we were looking into it i personally didn't know where to begin and just the idea of having to be lily's t teacher was very overwhelming so um i feel like they did a really good job in kind of easing us into it and um giving us all the help that I need. I had a few people like the teacher, um, I forgot what they call this other person that's assigned to you, but they reached out and you know asked me if I needed help with anything, how everything was going and things like that. Um, and I, I like having a curriculum given to us um, because as a new homeschool parent, um, I didn't even know where to begin because I know that there are parents out there who actually set up their own curriculum and they pretty much kind of like freestyle their own teaching. I like having a structure. I like having um, the lessons there for me and then, you know, kind of just being able to go down the list and get, get them all done. Um, so I find that very helpful to have just, you know, a lesson plan for us already there. Um, right now, Lily is gonna go into first grade, so I don't know if anything would change. So I don't know if anything's gonna change um, within the next year, but for right now, I kinda like the way things are, and I like the structure, and I like that I don't have to do so much thinking. It's all there for me, and we just go through our lists, go through our lesson plans throughout the day, and then we're done, right? But yeah, you guys, I think that is it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them down below. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you, I hope you have subscribed i do have a bunch of homeschool videos we just finished cleaning up our homeschool room. we just finished cleaning up our homeschool room and we filmed it all kind of rearranged everything if you guys want to check that out it will be at the end of this video um and don't forget all the links are down below so um yeah good luck and if you guys have any more questions like i said feel free i'm here to help you so yeah one last thing before i end this video i just thought about this right now um if you're seriously looking into homeschool i suggest you do it like asap um i did have lily's teacher mention that if i wanted to enroll that she suggested i did it like now because with everything going on in the world right now um they are filling up really quickly so they, she just wanted to make sure that I had, she just wanted to make sure that there was enough room for me. And um, yeah, so I suggest you guys start like ASAP. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you found it helpful, if you know anyone who's looking into homeschool, please make sure you share this. Um, that is it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Hey guys, so I totally forgot to mention in my last video, which was my homeschool cleanup video, um, I did say that the next video coming up was going to be my um, returning my books video, um, but I'm actually waiting for a link, so I have to kind of put that off. I can't do it just yet. I have to wait for an email that tells me how to do that, so I haven't been able to record that, guys. Sorry about that.